Okay, we're busy here with a Keynesian goods market model where your economy is in equilibrium at a level less than full employment. The, the output gap, uh, income gap, is a thousand, which is the difference between full employment and your equilibrium income. We know from this model that your demand for goods determines output. This is your equilibrium equation. And they are your autonomous components, and that is your multiplier, which is equal to five. Now, we know from this model, you can increase the level of output by increasing autonomous spending. So any of these forces here, or components here, will bring about a change in autonomous spending. Now, if you look at them, and assuming that we have recessionary conditions here, then the, the chances of getting an increase in autonomous consumption are very limited because households are constrained in their spending. There's low income, there's unemployment, there's uh, negative market sentiments, uh, uncertainty, the levels of confidence are low. The same with the investment. The private firms are not going to build at factories yet. They will still wait for the economy to improve. So what Keynes is telling us is we need to make use of our government spending in taxes, and that is fiscal policy. And we can either increase government spending or decrease taxes. Now, we're only going to concentrate on government spending now. Now, if you increase government spending, that increases the demand for goods, which then leads to an increase in the level of output. The question now is, by how much should you increase government spending? Well, the gap is a thousand and you have a multiplier of five. So your increase in government spending should be equal to 200. Now, given that you increase government spending by 200, in your diagram, the autonomous spending increases, your vertical intercept increase with 200. You have a new demand for goods curve, and then you will see that the increase in income will be 1,000, that is 200, times the multiplier equals a thousand. So you can, by increasing government spending, reach the point of full employment. You have, however, to take into account what is happening to the budget of government. Now, before this increase of 200, the budget was is equal to taxes minus government spending equals 400 minus 500 gives you minus 100. Now you increase government spending, so you have to add this increase in spending, plus 200. So now your, your government spending is 700, and now you will have a budget deficit of minus 300. So through fiscal policy, you can use government spending to move to the level of full employment, and <clears throat> while you go to full employment, you will have, you will end up with a higher budget deficit.